and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Today's video is something that I've been wanting to make for the past week now, week and a half. When did Captain Marvel come out? I don't know. Basically, I saw it at a midnight screening, so I saw it as one of the first people in the UK to see it on the 8th of March. First of all, I want to say it's not my favourite Marvel film. I'm sorry, it's not. But... Captain Marvel is one of my favourite superheroes now. I adore Brie Larson. I think she has just brought such a great character to the screen. And I personally think she's a great Captain Marvel. I think what they've decided to do with her character was so good. And it was so motivating and inspiring for us women out there, but also men out there and also everyone else out there, okay? As I progress at university, I'm getting more and more into sound. And literally I was just listening to the film. I've seen it twice now. The second time I was just listening and there was just these little moments which I was just like, yes, I love sound. And the soundtrack in general, the whole thing, amazing, like a girl. That fight scene is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Also, speaking of sound, there was one little tiny thing that made me really happy. Basically, we obviously now know that Captain Marvel got her powers from the Space Stone, the Tesseract, the Space Stone, you know? And in Infinity War, when Thanos utilizes that stone in the gauntlet, it makes a very specific sound. Now in Captain Marvel, there is one bit, I cannot for the life of me remember when it was, I just remember it happening, but that exact same sound happens. And I was like, ugh, thank you. In short, I love the film. I thought it was amazing. Now, because I'm absolutely terrible at giving reviews, I've realized this over the past few reviews I've done because I just, waffle on about all the actors and everything. And I don't think people really care about that. So what I decided to do for this one was I took to Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions about the film and about things. So this is like a Captain Marvel Q and A at this point. First question, how did you react to the end credit scene? Bear with me two seconds, okay? This, this is what I looked like, okay? This is what I looked like. This is what I looked like, okay? I wrapped myself in this shock blanket, which I used for Infinity War, got it from Disneyland Paris. It's amazing, it's the alphabet, but it's Disney. And I wrapped it around myself and I sat back on my chair and I was just like, no. One in general question I got was, do you think all those who turned to dust in Infinity War will be back? And the real simple answer to that is yes, I think they will be back. In what capacity? I don't know and I've kind of given up speculating concrete ideas now because it's just gonna hurt no matter what so I'm just like trying not to think about it as much as I did last year but I think what's gonna happen is somehow they're gonna get them back from being dusted uh, and then either one the originals are gonna swap with the news so all that's dusted is gonna be swapped for the people that are currently not dusted except from Captain Marvel because they're not gonna kill her that quickly you know no she no or they're gonna come back and then like a couple of people are gonna be dusted or a whole new alternate universe is gonna be a thing and this gonna... i don't know really i just don't think they can leave black panther spider-man and doctor strange dead i don't think they're gonna stay dead i think they're gonna come back in some way and then other people are gonna die and that one's gonna be concrete and that's gonna hurt more, so yay. I've not watched many Marvel films. Do you think that I would be able to understand it? I think that this film is very good standalone. Obviously there are little bits in it which are kind of nods to the other films that if you've watched the other films you'll understand, like Fury and Coulson and the Tesseract, obviously, but I still think that you can watch Captain Marvel as a solo film, but I'm sure if you do find it interesting, you'll then want to go and watch more Marvel films and then everything will make more sense. But I don't think there's anything specific other than the end credit scene. Other than that, I don't think there's anything super specific that is gonna make you go, this doesn't make sense. I haven't seen the others. How excited are you for Endgame? I have the perfect, perfect reaction to this. Okay, Garrett Watts, who is a YouTuber here, on YouTube, one of my favorites. He posted an Instagram story the other day and it just sums up my feelings perfectly. So I'm just gonna play it over here for you. There's, I don't even, are you hyped for Avengers Endgame? I don't, it's not even, I don't even, there's not words. It's all I think about. <laughs> it's a problem. There you go. That's pretty much how I'm reacting every second of every day. Next question is, what do you think of the twist with the scrolls actually being the good guys? Personally, I didn't see it coming, okay? I really didn't. And that's really hard for a film to do, as I've noticed recently, because my brain jumps forward a good, like, 20 minutes 
in front of where we currently are, like coming up with all these ideas and then one of them becomes right and then I kind of feel deflated because I guessed what was gonna happen, if that makes sense. One of my favorite scenes in the entire film was actually when Carol was outside and Talos comes over to her and is trying to explain that he isn't actually the bad guy and she's like, no, you are the bad guy, I've been told you're the bad guy. And then Maria comes out and she is the voice of reason and she just goes, listen, listen, okay? Listen to everything that's happening here and just, just see what is actually happening. And I think that's a really good message that needs to be talked about more because people are so ready to fight each other that no one just sits down and listens to each other because so much more would get done if people just listened to each other instead of immediately shouting and immediately fighting, okay? That went super, like, equality. <laughs> All right. Someone asks, will I cosplay her? Now I, desperately want to cosplay her. I've never looked at a superhero and gone, you know what? My body shape is almost that. I could do that. I'd feel confident wearing that suit. Captain Marvel's costume and Brie Larson's rendition, she just makes me want to cosplay her. And I did actually look up how much her suit is and most of them tend to be around 250 pound. So that's not happening anytime soon unless someone wants to sponsor me um, the company out there that makes cosplays, you want to sponsor me? I'll take some nice pictures for you and and and, 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 and I don't know, I'll wear your costume around Comic-Con and then that's a thing, right? People do that. I don't, I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe. Do you think Loki is really dead? I have one answer to that. No. What are you most excited for for Endgame? Um, other than seeing more of Captain Marvel in less than a month, Mind blowing. I want to see my fave back. You guys know how much I love Bucky and I don't feel like it's acceptable if they genuinely kill him off like that. No. But I really, really feel like the closer we get, the less likely Bucky's going to be back. And that really saddens me and now I feel really sad. Oh. Obviously I also want Thanos to die slash be exiled slash take his powers away. I don't care, just get Thanos out of the picture. But if anyone's gonna kill Thanos, Nebula deserves to. She went through years of torture from Thanos and she literally got ripped apart by Thanos like every day because she wasn't as good as Gamora. And now Gamora's dead. So Nebula's like extra angry because she went through all of that for him to just go and kill Gamora. Wow, imagine. Her brain must be like, hey, okay, when we see her on the ship with Tony, I feel like she is so determined to get to Thanos and like stab him in the face. I'm ready, okay? I just, please, Nebula, be the one to kill Thanos. Please. Or Goose. Just blah, 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 kill Thanos. Yeah. So many people have asked about Goose and how much I like her. One person says, what do you think about our little flirking queen? Another person said, Goose. Just Goose. Another one, what about the flirking? How did you feel about the way Nick Fury lost his eye? Was it just me, but when I saw Goose the cat, I just thought of Ben from <laughs> Umbrella Academy. <laughs> Oh, you, my friend. You, yes, yes. Conspiracy theory, Ben is actually Goose. What do you think of Goose? And also, can you look at cats the same after seeing the movie? I certainly can't. Now, I don't actually see that many cats in my day-to-day -day life. Um, I wish I did because they're just pure, angry little creatures and I just... I love that because I'm a pure, angry little creature. But I don't actually feel any different of looking at a cat. I think Goose herself is amazing and I think she's a great little flurkin. But that sounded so weird. I think she's a great character. I definitely did not see her coming at all. Like I wasn't prepared. Also, I adore how Fury lost his eye. I thought it was great that they had that bit at the beginning where he got like hit and you just know everyone in the theater was like, oh, is this gonna be it? This really cool like chase car scene. Like this is how he loses his eye. Oh my God. And, and then it's just the, the cat going Yarr! and scratching him in the face because he gave it too much love. This is why Fury is amazing. Oh, this one I really like as well. What do you think about Marvel promoting her as the first strong female in the MCU when Okoye exists? This is what happens with marketing. They obviously need to kind of push a certain character to get more people to watch it. And I think the marketing that they did on this film was impressive. It was very impressive. They got children interested in Captain Marvel. They got grown women interested in Captain Marvel. And they were just like, look, this is a character that you guys can all get behind. She is a woman, she is powerful. There you go. However, in the actual advertising, they didn't specifically specify that she is the strongest female in the MCU. They just said, look, 
female and it was very heavily like women can do this now the reason why they haven't done that previously with Okoye, Natasha, Scarlet um give me more women the wasp i've um, forgotten her name wow i'm a fake fan all of the women okay shuri they don't get as much because they aren't main characters and that is the problem but also us people who are true fans and truly appreciate these characters know how strong they are and we preach it on twitter and we preach it on youtube like now and we preach it on Instagram, we, we preach, okay? You can't get us to shut up about these strong female characters. Like, honestly, go to Stan Twitter, okay? It's terrifying. But people are always sharing pictures of the strong female characters in Marvel, and while Marvel's not doing it specifically, they are beginning to, and that is always good, and obviously we're getting more female superhero films in the future, not only because we already do have a Scarlet Witch one coming, but also because Captain Marvel made $455 million worldwide in three days. They're gonna make more of them, okay? It's like Black Panther. They're not gonna suddenly be like, you know what? We're done making the diverse superhero films. It's done. We're gonna go back to white men. It's not gonna happen, okay? Because while well, yes, people want that, people also want more of this diversity and representation there you go also actually one real quick thing because it is one of my favorite things on the internet in the description i'm going to leave a link to an edit uh, this is an edit from someone that i saw on twitter that my friend tagged me in and it is amazing it is the women of marvel and oh, when people do edits like this with the punches and everything i it's amazing please go watch that edit give it some love because it deserves it but I'm, i'll leave it there go and watch it enjoy it because Women of Marvel, okay? We preach, okay? And they're getting stronger, and they're getting better, and... Yes. Yes. Thing is, I also want to say this, because otherwise it just sounds like I'm a feminist that is like, men are not good. I appreciate both female and male superheroes equally. Personally, for me, I look up to both male and female superheroes. Yes, Bucky Barnes is my favourite superhero. He is now a superhero. Fight me on that, okay? He is good now not brainwashed anyway he is my favorite but it isn't because he is male and i don't dislike any of those female superheroes because they're female they just have different characters and the actors are all so different and bring such different things to the table and i just think sebastian stan's acting is so good in all of these films because in winter soldier he only had like what maybe five to ten lines yet so much emotion is brought out through his eyes and that's what i like to see in a film so that's why he's my favorite but it doesn't mean i dislike any of the other ones i just personally enjoy his acting and now brie larson has kind of swooped in and has come underneath winter soldier and is like hey i'm female i'm powerful look at me and i love her acting and i think she's great and I, where am I going with this? Just know, I appreciate all of the Marvel characters. Thoughts on Ronan's smile when he says they'll come back for her? I just think that means that Ronan's gonna be the villain again in Captain Marvel 2. Simple as, really. Also people asking how I felt between the relationship between Carol and Yonrog. Yonrog? Yon... is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, Jude Law's character. First of all, I love Jude Law, so there's that but i did think he was a great character because i didn't see it coming and then when he was bad when he stands up at the end and goes i'm so proud of you i genuinely was so confused in that moment because i was like wait 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 what is he suddenly the good guy and they were all working together but it was really just another manipulation trick and carol just punched him away so far away with all of her power and just gave us the best line so i i enjoyed the relationship between them because it showed how people in general can hold other people back and when that person finally goes you know what i've had enough i'm gonna be who i want to be they become powerful and they become the best version of themselves and they can punch you to a rock i don't advise trying that because it would probably hurt both of you um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the characters and of course I hate Yon Rog because he's an asshole, but also Stute Law. But there you go, that is everything I have to say about Captain Marvel. Thank you to all of you that sent me a question. This was more enjoyable than me just rambling for about half an hour and then going, wait, I need to edit this. So thank you for the structure that you gave me. For now, that is going to do it for 
this video and Captain Marvel. Um, obviously, leave comments down below. I reply to as many as I can. Also, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Twitter, always ready for a conversation about Marvel when I have the time. So hit me up on those. Um, but yes, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to carry on watching this face, I do Marvel videos, Disney videos, Disney vlogs, makeup sometimes, maybe I might start doing that, I don't know, um, all that kind of thing, then please do not forget to subscribe just here and then click here for a previous video and here will be a link to a recommended video. But until next time, bye!